Hi fam, it's finally here, the It's So Good cookbook. It's So Good Volume 1 digital download that can be found at itsogoodforyou.com. The cookbook includes 14 recipes, which also include two beverages. But wait, before downloading using your mobile device, please be sure you review the how-to video located in the description box below. Thank you so much. I love you guys. Let's get this video started. Hey, what's up, fam? Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Miriam. And today... Today, baby, we have ourselves a giant crab cake. Maryland crab cake. If you come to Maryland, you and you're not allergic to seafood, of course, you cannot come to Maryland and not go to any restaurant and not get a crab cake. Or you can come here if you want to come get a crab cake, okay? Anyway. Okay, so I didn't make the fettuccine Alfredo. I made Cajun fettuccine Alfredo. I've made this thing probably at least 10, 12 times on my channel. I'll link um, a pasta dish of, in the description box below, I will link how I made like the sauce and the noodles and all that kind of stuff of um, a previous, from a previous video. But anyway. And as they get her. Well, um, on the shot here, I went to a local restaurant of mine and I got a normal size crab cake. This crab cake is probably about five ounces. It's a, a normal look to it. Now this was fried. I broiled mine, but this one was fried. I asked them to broil it, but um, they went on and fried it. I want to taste it. I've never tried it from this restaurant before. So I wanted to taste it. Not bad, a little dry. Hmm. Not bad. It's pretty good. Now for the star. <laughs> Maybe. I have a piece that's broken off here on the edges. I cannot wait. Come on, baby. Mmm. Oh gosh, here we go. That is crazy good. I'm not even over exaggerating. This is so good. Oh my goodness. Hold on one second. Oh my gosh. It is so good. It is so good. <laughs> Perfect amount of moisture. And be careful with that when you broil or put it in your air fryer. Be careful how much time you put on it because you don't want to lose that moisture within the crab cake, okay? 
too much time can lead to a dry crab cake and you don't want that this is so good it's so meaty and delicious instead of yellow mustard you can also use dijon that's in most <clears throat> restaurants you will find that they use dijon mustard i grew up with my family using yellow mustard and i prefer the taste of yellow mustard versus dijon just a preference but with the yellow mustard to me the flavor is much bolder mm, 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 mm. y'all I'm going to let y'all see as I break into it. It is so good. Ooh, and it's all for me, baby. Mmm. It couldn't be any more perfect. Adding some um, shaved butter is something new <clears throat> that I tried. I made some crab cakes probably a couple months ago, maybe about maybe about four months ago. And I was like, you know, I, sometimes I put butter on top um, when I put it in the oven to broil. I said, you know what? I'm going to shave some frozen butter. And yeah, I just tried it. The flavor is great. Using the butter crackers instead of regular breadcrumbs. It's a must to enhance the flavor. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. So many people in my family, when they have my crab cakes, they get disappointed when they go to restaurants and they order crab cakes because it's it's not leveling up. It doesn't level up. Come on, man. Mmm. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Perfect with pasta. Mmm, mmm. Without a doubt, must try. When I lived in Georgia, there was this farmer's market where you can get <clears throat> crab meat that came from uh, Virginia. So Virginia, Chesapeake, you know, we're, we're kind of all intertwined together, okay? So I just don't know in other areas. Mmm, mmm, it's mammoth. How are you guys doing today? How are you doing? I'm big on flavor. It's very delicious, not overly salty. And in comparison to this, and I'm, <clears throat> I'm really not trying to brag. Mine tastes better. It, it, it is what it is. It tastes so good. And don't get me wrong, this one is good. And again, I only use jumbo lump, jumbo lump crab meat. It's worth the extra money. Oh, speaking of extra money, this crab meat was high. It was so expensive. Typically, during crab season, I know I'm rambling. Typically, doing crab season, you can get crab meat, jumbo up crab meat for about forty to forty-two dollars. Excuse me, anywhere from thirty-nine to forty-two dollars in my area. It was like fifty-four dollars a pound. I've never spent that much money on crab meat. Even when in off season, I never spent that much money on crab meat. Fifty-four dollars for a pound. And I think 
just back fin lump meat, regular back fin lump meat was like $10 less. I'm like, excuse me. I'm like, oh my God, it's so expensive. And seafood is so expensive. That's why I limit the amount of seafood dishes that I do. Because it's so pricey. Mm. But at the same time, when it comes to good food, I, I, and you have the money, I go out and buy it. So the 54, don't get me wrong, the $54 was worth it. I'm rambling. Anyway, shut up, girl. Mmm. My aunt would love this. Mmm. 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 There's some pasta. Come on, darling. Can you focus on it? Not me today. Coke today. <clears throat> That's really it. Please give it a try. Must try. You would not. It would not fail you. A little side note. I'm thinking about starting getting acrylic nails because whenever I get you know these polishes, these nice polishes that I love. They don't last long. Usually the gel polish used to last me like almost three weeks. They can barely last a week nowadays. But I noticed that with acrylic nails, for most people, they can last a little bit longer. So let me know what y'all think. And if you are new to the channel, baby, welcome. <laughs> welcome. Thank you so much for subscribing. Thank you so much for being a part of the fam. You know, I greatly, greatly appreciate it. And God bless you. I love you all. See you in my next video. Peace.